You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Barros Mortgage Team, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Home Serve Home Warranty, Republic Title, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. Well, Todd isn't here today, a little under the weather. So your best-selling host, author, Todd Tremonti, is actually the non-best-selling host, author, Ian Daniels, because I've never written a book. So that's who you have today. You don't have Todd, but you do have Ian, and we have a number of special guests on the show today. It's going to be a fun time. We're going to talk a little bit about what it's like to be in real estate right now. We're going to talk about the state of the market. We're going to talk about some of the highs and lows maybe of this year, some of the things that we've worked through, some of the things that um, that the team have really excelled at, and uh, we're going to hear, hear from some, some really great agents today. So this first segment is, as always, brought to you by Patrick Gleros and Cardinal Financial. Uh, Patrick has built his team in a very similar way to how we have, making sure that the people that he has hired are using their God-given gifts and abilities to serve their clients at a world-class level. You can go to patrickgleros.com. You can start your application right there on his website, patrickgleros.com. You can call him at 972-728-3420. NMLS number 308804, or go to com. You can find all of the recommended pros and vendors under the radio tab right there. We do have a very full studio today. We do not, we not only have Courtney. Woo! There's Courtney. We also have Mr. David Goss. Say hi, David. Present here. Howdy. We have Davis on the team correct not to be mistaken by david you need to speak into the microphone sir excuse me sorry about that he's a professional singer and uh, doesn't know how to use the microphone Mm, semi-professional no i wouldn't even give me that but i would say amateur amateur (laughs) professional and then we also have brandon wyatt on the team how's it going Going fine, Brandon. <laughs> Great. You're asking. Great. Thank you. We're having asking. a good time today. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a hoot. David on the team, he is a, a buyer specialist. Give us a quick yes. kind of rundown. How long have you been here, David? Um yeah, just kind of give us a yeah, quick started in uh I don't know, seven or eight years ago. It feels like forever. But uh, yeah, I've been a buyer specialist the whole time. Love it, love it, love working with my clients especially first-time buyers enjoy that a lot and teaching them how to buy a house and the whole process so enjoyed my time here davis what do you do i am the same a buyer specialist been here for coming up on a year um and yeah i i enjoy the same i enjoy helping people with a huge decision um i mean we we take this very very seriously because people are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars and we take it um with that much importance. And so that's that's the care, the world-class value you talked about earlier in the show um, is is what we want to give to our clients. And Brandon? Uh, my name is Brandon. I've, uh, I've been on the team for about three and a half years. Uh, started off as a buyer specialist, helped a lot of clients get into homes. And now I've, um, I'm the client care coordinator, which means that uh, I take care of our clients even through the transaction, after their transaction, making sure that they're still experiencing world-class value um, long after the sale is over. Yeah, so we'll talk a little bit more about what that looks like too. Look, there's there's a number of other people that we could have brought on to the show today, um, but we're really excited to have have you through here with us and talk about you know what life is like uh, in real estate. So um, let's kind of kick us off with you know really kind of the state of the market right now. Davis, what what are you telling buyers um, or advising buyers? Because we talk about it a lot on the show where there's fear out there, right? There's fear sure. about interest rates. There's fear about, you know, can I get into a, a home right now? Does it make the most sense to be able to get into a home right now? Um, what, what, are, what questions are you getting asked? What are you telling folks yeah. as it pertains to that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a question that I'm getting pretty much from everyone. Um, even even buyers that I've had that were looking for in five months ago, it's just completely different. So 
obviously the biggest negative to the market is the interest rate. But what we're, what we're advising our clients is right now you actually have a lot more opportunity because of that interest rate and because of people being afraid um, or nervous, anxious, whatever it may be, um, depending on situation to situation, we obviously want to do what's best for our client and help advise in that way. But there is a lot of opportunity with um, our monthly absorption rate going up. Um, there's, there's just more homes on the market. There's still, we, like people think we're headed to a buyer's market. We are making minor steps toward that, but we are, we are still by definition in a seller's market, good homes are still going. Um, they're just going a lot. They're taking a little bit more days on market than they were four and five months ago. So what we're telling is there's, there's a lot of opportunity. For, for buyers right now. Yeah, you mentioned the absorption right there. That is uh, the number of homes that are on the market. And if no new homes came on the market, that's how long we would have left. Correct. So we may see something like uh, six weeks, uh, I think in Richardson right now, in the three to 400,000, I think is somebody on our team, I think Andrew on our team had looked at that the other day. There's about six weeks of inventory. Mm -hmm. If we don't have any other houses, in three to 400,000 range in Richardson, come on the market, that's how long we will have left until yep. we have zero. And in Plano, under 400, there's about a month and a half as well. Yeah. And what we see is um, anything really under three, we're going to class as a, as a seller's market. Sure. Anything uh, three to six, kind of a neutral kind of market. And then six and above is really the buyer's market. So right. a lot of areas we're still seeing, it's a, it's a really great time to be able to sell your home. Um, but the good news is for the buyers, there there is there's more inventory now than we've had in in years in yeah. a lot of places. Absolutely, the opportunity is still there. Uh, David, what are you kind of seeing? What are you telling folks? What questions have you been asked? Sure, yeah, it's uh, kind of along what Davis said. It, it it is a tough market at times, but you know I think even with the interest rates going up, the things I've heard recently are rent rates are going up. And so a lot of my clients that have been paying rent are just getting hammered and they're renewing and it's going up a hundred to 300 bucks a month. And so now it makes sense to get a mortgage where it's the same price as renting. And then you own a house and you build some equity. So I've had a few of my buyers who kind of tapped out in the summer have come back and said, okay, uh, you're right. We need to get in this market. And because there are deals to be had out there, I'm seeing stuff all the time. You know, like if the house is 400,000, people are buying it for 370. And so, uh, yeah, that stuff's happening a lot where, uh, you know, people are not overpaying for houses. Now prices are coming down a little bit. They're not at the top of the top. And so people are able to get a house. Yeah. And you know, there was a, a thing that we posted on, um, on Facebook recently that showed, um, I think it was kind of beginning of this year somebody may have been able to get a home at like two and a half, three percent interest rate, but they were going to have to bid, you know, 50, 60, $70,000 more. Right. Whereas right now you'd be able to get that same home for maybe the list price, maybe yep. even a little bit under. Right. Now you are going to pay, you know, six, six and a half percent on the interest rate, but that monthly payment actually works out almost exactly the same. So there's yeah. a tremendous opportunity there as a buyer but you need to have the right strategy in place. And that's where making sure that, you know, whether that's us on our team and we, and I think, you know, we said before, like we think we have the best people in the industry doing this. But if you have somebody that's full-time that you trust, we, we understand that, right? If you don't reach out to us here, go to toddtramoneyteam.com, reach out to us. There's a number of different, different ways you can do that. And we can sit down with you and we can talk about strategies, right? Yeah. We actually block off, you know, almost every afternoon in January, to talk to people and have a strategy session with them uh, where we can discuss like, hey, this is these are options for you going into next year. So talk a little bit, uh, Davis, if you would, about what uh, what a strategy session is and how that's a little bit different to like sitting down and, and digging into somebody that's ready to go right now. Yeah, um, this is like you said, we like we are blocking off a lot of our January afternoons um, to just just have conversations, whether it be friends, family, um, even uh, certain prospects that, that we're um, trying to get on the phone. Um, we are setting up time to 
just talk about their 2023 goals and even share our own 2023 goals with them um, and see what we can help them with, how we can serve them, whether it be real estate or not, um, to help them see past it, what's in front of them and help them get to their 2023 goals, especially if that's buying a home. We can help devise a plan, sit around, see, show them what's going on in our market. Um, if they're unaware, see, show them the homes that are available to see if what they're looking for or what their goal is in buying a home is even a thing, if, if it's even realistic. Um, and, and so that, that's kind of what we're doing, talking about goals in 2023 um, over coffee or even over brunch. It's, it's not anything that's of any crazy obligation, but it's very, very valuable to um, help plan for 2023. Let me talk a little bit about uh, as you're planning, you know, you want to plan for insurance. And if you're looking for home insurance, you're going to want to call our guy DP Lambert. DP has been great. Uh, I've used him for years. Always fantastic. Always um, ready to help. Answers the phone every time I call. If you're looking to get home insurance, you're going to want to call DP Lambert or email him dp.lambert at goosehead.com. dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Or you can give him a call 214 214- Eight three eight five six eight four. Yep, DP does uh, home insurance, auto insurance. I told you before, I've used him for years. Uh, saved me almost two thousand dollars recently. He has saved so many of our clients, so many of our um, friends, family members, team members, money over the years. And uh, it's always fun to to have that conversation with him and kind of see, man, how much is DP going to save me? Save me this time, right? Mm-hmm. He's always on it, and I feel like every single time it's like, oh, I'm going to save you another $1,000, and I'm going to save you another $500. And I'm like, yeah, come on. Let's keep talking <laughs> to DP. Keep going, man. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Reach out to DP, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. Excellent read, by the way, Brendan. Thank you. Well you, done. You really, well done. You really, really crushed it. What, um, for Brandon, a quick question for you. Uh, as our uh, raving fan club coordinator, as our guy that's like making sure that clients are, are cared for, what are some of the things that that we've done recently that has really kind of jumped out? Like talk a little bit about maybe like the pie day that we just did and, and kind of the impact that that gets to have with people. Yeah. So one of our favorite days of the year is pie day. We love doing it. Um, basically it's, it's really simple to explain. We give a pie to all of our current and past clients. Um, we just want to show some appreciation, uh, get to see them face to face, get to talk to them a little bit. It's not just a pie. It's a giant. It's pie. a giant massive, five pound massive, massive pie that we, we recommend to all of our clients that you don't eat it all in one sitting by yourself. <laughs> um, it would give you a tummy ache. So, uh, but that's one of our favorite things to do is, is we just want to see our past clients. We want to talk to them. Um, not just to say, Hey, you know, how's your house doing? But we, we want to invest in their lives and, and help, uh, in any way possible. Another great thing that we do, and it's it's not used very much, but when it is used, we get a lot of thanks for it, is we have um, a lot of yard equipment, um, pressure washer, uh, things like that, that you may uh, use every once in a while, but you don't necessarily want to go buy. A pressure washer is not something that you want to buy and keep in your garage because you it just takes up space. We have three pressure washers. We want to loan those out to all of our past clients. Um, so if they ever need something like that, we have things like that, that we are willing to let them borrow for, for as long as they need. Um, so they don't have to go buy it. That's just something that we do to add a little bit of value, um, with all of our clients. Yep. It's fun to be able to do all that stuff. It's fun to be able to, uh, to kind of give, uh, give back a little bit to, uh, to our friends, to our clients. One of the things that, uh, we did on pie day was for every person that picked up a pie, we donated 10 meals, 10 meals to the local food banks. And we gave, uh, we gave over, I think it was 2,400 meals. I think it was the number of 2,700 meals. Something, yeah, something like somewhere that. Right around that. It was like 250 pies times 10. Yeah. It was, so. it was 240, 270, something like that. So 2,400, 2,700 meals donated, um, was really fun to be able to give back, uh, uh, in this, uh, this holiday season. So, uh, let me tell you about home serve home warranty. Christine over there, uh, she keeps checking in with us, making sure folks are, are getting what they need, and and they are. Our clients are getting exactly what they need. Uh, keep getting good reports uh, on what home serve are doing. You can go to homeserve.com. Homeserve.com. You can find more information 
uh, about the things that they offer, what they do, and the different services and packages uh, are all right there. Homeserve.com. David, what are you um, what are you seeing as it pertains to? We've we've talked recently about homes on uh, half acre to five acre lots. Um, what what's your thought on a, a buyer that is looking to purchase a home in that half acre to five acre uh, area? Is there anything that you would tell them differently than if they were just looking in a regular neighborhood? Um, like, what are some of the things that that, that could be beneficial to a buyer? Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, they build these days, these houses in so close together that some of the older houses that you see that were built in the seventies, eighties, nineties have a little more space. And so I think people are looking for a little more space, uh, seeing as what we've been through the last three or four years. Um, you know, people, people want a little more outdoor space. And so backyards are becoming a big thing now with patios and, you know, people are looking for a quarter acre to a half acre. They want a little more room to spread out, uh, you know, to have have space for family, for, you know, the backyard activities, the trampolines, the, the pools or the whatever it may be in the backyard. And so people are looking for those things a little bit more. They would just they want a, a little more elbow room, I think, is what I've seen. Where do, where do we find a lot of those? Like, are, are, those thing, are those homes available in places like, Plano, Richardson, or do we have to go a little bit further out? They are. No, they're everywhere. Uh, I believe it or not. I mean, I know we ran some statistics the other day, but they're, they're, they're actually everywhere. I mean, even the city of Dallas has lots that are quarter acre to a half acre. You just, you have to do a little, little digging a little, you know, you need a good real estate professional to help you with, you know, digging up some of those houses that are for sale, but yeah, they're everywhere. You don't have to go 50 miles away from Dallas to find you know, a half acre with a house on it. And I think that's what a lot of people think, right? They think, oh, I've got to go further away. I've got to get away from like my friends, my family, but you really don't like, they are, they're, they're everywhere. I mean, yeah. um, we've got, there's, there's areas of two acres in places like Saxe that you can still get and Wiley and, you know, there's, right. there's places all around where you can get extra land. You can do some really cool things with that. You don't have to go 50, 60 miles away. Right, right. You go to Lucas and Fairview and Prosper. A lot of them are, you know, they have a lot of one acre lots for sure. If you want to go that big, now it's a little bit more to mow, but you know, a quarter, quarter acre to a half acre, you can find that all over Plano, Allen, Frisco, McKinney. They're everywhere. Yep. It's good to know. It's good to be aware of. It's good to make sure that people know that they don't have to go do that and you don't have to go really far away. And at the end of the day, like this is where meeting with somebody, sitting down, having a strategy session with somebody um, really is valuable because they're going to be able to explain what's available, what's out there, what's the best thing for you. Davis, what type of, um, you know, homes do you, do you generally enjoy helping people with? Do you like uh, new builds? Like what, what's the area where you're just like, oh, yeah, like I love helping somebody find that particular type of home? Sure. You know, these... These homes on land, I'm from deep east Texas, the promised land down in Lufkin, Texas. And so I, I, I grew up where there's just a lot more space. I mean, obviously, Lufkin has about 50,000 um, total population. And, and so that's kind of where, where I feel like at home. And, and at, when I, where I grew up is about a half acre. And so those homes, a little bit outside the, the tightness of the city, um, where there's a little bit more space, a little bit less city noise, a little bit less light pollution, those kinds of homes um, are, are are just really fun. One because you get to to help typically a family who, who's looking for a spot to be for a while. Um, maybe they have maybe have a couple kids, or um, I'm a dog lover. I, I have a half wolf. At, for fun fact, and she needs a lot of space. Hold on, hold and on. So, Explain more. You have a half uh, wolf. I have a wolf hybrid. Yes, her her father was a German timber wolf, German Shepherd timber wolf, and her mother was a Malamute gray wolf. So she's fifty percent wolf, hundred percent cat. Unfortunately, because she does not act like a wolf. 
But she looks. She acts like a cat. She she literally. My wife will attest to this. She literally acts like a cat. She's afraid of all new people. It's quite aggravating for me because she's a wolf, and I want her to be like, oh, like oh, I'm a wolf. But she's not. She hides under the table. She's just. It's annoying. Wow. But she's a great dog. We love her. Okay. Yeah. But to our to your question, that's what the the homes on land. Um, typically a little bit outside the the tightness, the structure of. Of the city, I, I live in Allen, but you can drive five minutes east into Lucas and Murphy and Wiley, and, and find those homes, and, and they're they're re- readily available. So, yeah, that's great. Ian's got a little cough attack. A little bit of a cough we're going getting, on. We're getting through it. We're, we're, we're fine. Having, we're having a great time. If you haven't checked the value of your house recently, go to valuethishouse.com, and in less than sixty seconds, you will be able to find out what your home not only will sell for but what it will rent for as well. It's going to give you a confidence score. If you want something a little bit more customized, something that's not not automated, just reply to the email that you get and just let us know. Just say customized or uh, customized valuation or I'd like to learn more, something like that. And um, and you can, uh, you'll can you expect a call from one of our team and then we'll sit down and we'll do that with you. Valuethishouse.com. Um, what is one of your favorite things about being here on the team, Davis? Man, I'm sure this is an overwhelming answer from everyone but just the the team camaraderie uh the i was at an, a prior brokerage um it was it was just a, a lot bigger brokerage and so you can kind of fall fall in the, in, in the cracks here uh there but but here um everybody we we commit to um certain things in the morning we're, we're here for a huddle um we talk about good news over the weekend or, or the night before talk about sports talk about whatever it may be, um, but, but the team camaraderie a, 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 as well as the help that you get with having guys with, with tons of experience. I've been in this for two years. Like David said, it does feel like forever um, because the two years I started have been probably the most difficult two years we've ever seen in real estate. It's not been easy. No, it has not been easy, but it's been fun. A lot of people are like, oh, you got your license. It's great for you. I'm sure you're having a great time. No, it's it's been difficult. It's fun. I love helping patients. Or patients. <laughs> My wife's a my wife's a physical therapist. That's where that comes from. Uh, I love helping clients, but it is difficult. Uh, it's a grind, and, and, and that's when having a team like this is, is so important. Guys that genuinely care for your, for your interests and, and for, your, for your best well-being uh, and to be around daily, um, both committing to the same things. Um, and, and getting getting work done and giving world class value to our clients. We're in the winter. If you haven't had your roof checked out recently, you need to go to pmrroofing.com. You can talk to Jordan and the uh, the fine folks over there on Jordan's team, Quinton's team. They'll come out. They'll check your roof. They will. Uh, they'll tell you if anything's needed. They're going to let you know. Hey, it's in good shape. It's in bad shape. It's in reasonable shape. They're not going to lie to you. They're going to give you the exact information and details that you need. Uh, and if you don't need anything done, they're going to tell you that too pmrroofing.com is where you go pmrroofing.com touchamoneyteam.com is where you go for all of your real estate needs you can find out all the recommended pros and vendors right there you can reach out to us if you are thinking of buying or selling you can just go uh, there's uh, right at the top of the webpage there there's a buying tab there's a selling tab click on those there's ways to contact us there's forms you can fill out there's phone numbers that you can call uh, reach out to us over there touchamoneyteam.com and we'll be right back after the break Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP. Welcome back to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, PMR Roofing, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, Republic Title, Home Serve, Home Warranty, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, Todd Tremonti. Nope, not Todd Tremonti still. Ian's here, Davis is here, Brandon's here. Davis wandered off, we've lost him. Not sure where he's gone. (laughs) Probably helping somebody with something, because that's what David... Out in the cold. He's out in the cold now. 
Um, we're back. We're going to talk more about uh, what the state of the market is. We're going to dig in a little bit on, on what are some of the questions that we're getting asked right now from people that call in. Brandon handles a lot of the inbound calls into our office, and so I want to talk a little bit about what uh, what he's been asked, and uh, and then we'll answer some of those questions because if one person is calling in to ask it, odds are a lot of other people are thinking about it too. Uh, first segment always brought to you by Patrick Galeros and his team at Cardinal Financial. Uh, like I've told you before, you can go to patrickgaleros.com. You can start your application right there on his website. You can give him a call, 972-728-3420. I've worked with Patrick uh, personally on a couple of uh, purchases that I've made, and it's always been incredibly smooth. He takes great care of everybody. He makes sure that uh, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. He just does it. His team does it at an incredibly high level, delivering world-class service. PatrickGlaros.com, NMLS number 308804. We have found David. He's Welcome back, 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 folks. Thought we'd lost him, but he's back. We found him. So David's here with us to Brandon, what are some of those questions that you're being asked right now from people that are calling into the office? Uh, the the main one that I'm ask, that I'm getting asked right now is uh, is really the 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 question that a lot of people ask is how's the market, and that is such a loaded question. So then I try to um, whenever somebody asks that, I always want to break that down. What what do you mean by that? Are you are you asking about buying a house? Or are you asking about selling a house? Yeah. So um, let, let's let's do that. Let's let's break it down. Uh, let's talk specifically to um, to somebody that is thinking about selling right now that might be worried that they've missed the top of the market um, because that's what the media is saying. That's what outlets are saying. That's what people are talking about. You've missed your chance. You should have sold at the beginning of the year. You should have sold no later than the middle of the year. There's no point in doing it now. You should wait until next year. What, what are you advising people on the phone. Now, obviously, you're only talking to them for a few minutes because then we're going to sit down with John or Jeremy on our team who's going to be able to dig in deep with them about what's going on in their particular neighborhood for their particular type of home, for their you know situation, whatever that could be. What What's kind of an overview of, um, of the selling side of the market right now, would you say? Yeah, so I tell them it's still... Um, it's not a bad time to sell and it's a, it's actually a really great time to sell um we're we're still seeing houses come in um selling pretty quick it's a, it's still a great time to to sell your house if you need to do that i also try to dive a little bit deeper with them and try to figure out what their motivation for selling is why are they trying to sell are they are they needing money quick are they trying to uh is it a is it a house that they've inherited, something like that? And really try to figure out what that motivation is so then I can direct them and help serve them better. So I like to make sure that it, they're a good fit with one of our marketing specialists. And I want to try to figure out which marketing specialist is going to be the better fit for them. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into this, right? So it's not just a simple phone call and question. The, the, there's an understanding of, you know, where do you live? What type of home do you have? What's the, the, uh, the unique marketing plan that needs to be to needs to go into this there's so many people out there <clears throat> that um they have a one size fits all system right and, and we've told uh, you know all our listeners for years we just don't think that's wise it's just not wise to be able to call somebody and say hey what are you going to do to sell my house and then give you an answer right there and then off the board because it's unique your home no matter if it's in a quote regular type of neighborhood that has two, three, four of the same style of home, but it's just kind of, do they're just all dotted throughout. I mean, that's kind of what I live in is, I think there's probably five or six types of home in the neighborhood, but my home is still unique. There's still something about my property that is gonna be different to everybody else's property. And that's what we have to try and find out. And that's what John and Jeremy and the entire team will help figure out what's the unique piece of it because that's how we're gonna be able to market your home to get as many eyeballs on it as possible so we can sell your home for over the average price and in under the average time. That's what we guarantee even in this market. We're still gonna do that better than 
the competition. That's the guarantee. If you want to learn more about that, go to touchonmyteam.com, click the selling tab, reach out to us. If you don't know what your home's worth, go to valuethishouse.com and in less than 60 seconds, you can find out what your home would sell for, what it would rent for. It's going to give you a confidence score. If you want something customized, if you want us to come out there and talk to you more about that, just reply to the email or give us a call. You can call the office. You can find the number online. You can go and you can fill in a form. We'll, we will contact you if what you want is something that's more customized. Valuethishouse.com. Now, on the on the buy side of things, we talked a little bit about that this in the first uh, first time, uh, first half of the show. But what are some of those unique things? Uh, I'll kick this over to Davis and, and David. Uh, what are some of the unique things that buyers maybe aren't quite thinking about right now? You had mentioned, David, earlier about people that are renting and rent prices are going up. Um, you know, what's some of the things that people should be thinking about if they're in that renting situation? You know, maybe they don't know, you know, a rent is going to, uh, the landlord's going to increase rent prices. Like that's something that people should find out in advance. How far in advance do you think somebody should be asking that? Yeah, good question. You know, a lot of, uh, if you do live in an apartment, a lot of, uh, apartment people are asking for 60 days notice if you want to leave your apartment it used to be 30 days forever and ever and ever now it's 60 days and so you know you need to check with your whoever you rent from and see what it costs to get out of your lease uh when you know can you go month to month is a big deal uh will you be increasing my rent i mean there's all kinds of horror stories out there where they get to the end of the lease and then the landlord says okay we're going up 500 bucks a month well that is a huge chunk of change that most people just can't come up with so you got to be prepared what i tell people that are you know month to month or or thinking about buying a house save as much money as you can you you know that's probably one of the biggest things is save 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 so you can have a down payment um one of the biggest things we preach over here is is getting a pre-approval well ahead of time so you know what your monthly payment might be on a three hundred thousand dollar house or a four hundred thousand dollar house or whatever it may be and you can put down as little as 3% or 5% or 10% or whatever the number is, but you need to run through all those things. Come meet with us, holler at us, let us talk to you and, you know, spend some time talking through all that. And we can connect you with Patrick Glaros, uh, you know, our trusted financial mortgage guy, and he can, he can lay those numbers out for you quickly. Yeah, it's all good stuff, especially the pre the, the down payment piece of it. I, I don't think people... People don't think about that type of right. thing, right? So, you know, what what are some of the other costs of, of buying a home that first time home buyers maybe just aren't aware of? Right? Yeah, sure. And I'm even thinking about once <clears throat> you've bought the home, yeah. there's a lot that has to be done to it <laughs> that people just don't necessarily think about, right. right? Right. There's lots. Yeah. The down payment is key. And then there's all the prepaid things, you know, there's there's taxes, there's insurance. Uh, there's interest, all these things that go along with getting a mortgage or a loan. Uh, there's all these costs. And then like Ian said, I mean, then you've got to decide, do I want furniture in my house? You know, do I need a washer and dryer? Do I need a refrigerator? And so there's lots and lots and lots of things, you know, and does the house, even when I buy it, need some paint, you know, paint's not cheap anymore either. So, you know, and then do you do it yourself? Do you hire somebody? So there's lots and lots of a cost going into buying a house. I even remember when we first bought a home being like, oh, I need to go buy a trash can <laughs> and knives and forks and plates and <laughs> cups and glasses. And What did you do before you bought a trash can? <laughs> well, there was one in the apartment. <laughs> there was one in an apartment. That's right. Like it was already there. So when we bought like the a- house, it was like, oh, we actually have to go and buy our own one now. And that's yeah. another forty fifty dollars is like there's right. all these little costs that all end up adding up and then you're like whoa like right I'm now a couple of thousand dollars into this right. type of thing like it's important to think about that yeah and some apartments pay your water bill pay your trash bill they might pay your electric bill i mean all those things are utilities you need to sign up for when you buy a house yep. no brainer stuff you know but you don't think about it if you're on automatic pilot in the apartment or whatever living situation you have um yeah there's electric and gas and water and trash and oh everybody needs the internet right cable i mean there's there's cost after cost so those are things we will sit down and talk with you about 
uh, you know, when we have a few minutes with you to explain all these things to you. Yep. Uh, we told you for a long, long time now that a bad title company can be really, really disastrous uh, when you're when you're buying or selling a home. Republic Title are not that. They are one of the leaders in the industry. We had a situation recently. Uh, it was not with Republic Title. It was with another title company. And um, we got to the closing table and names were all wrong and numbers were wrong and wasn't an ideal situation. We managed to make it work, though. I uh, can honestly say haven't had that happen with Republic Title. Mm-hmm. They do their job insanely well. So, so well. You can check them out. Go to republictitle.com. Check them out before you buy or sell republictitle.com. Uh, Davis, quick question for you. Uh, when it comes to uh, helping helping buyers from the team perspective, what's some of the things you had mentioned that you were on a different team before, a different place? What's some of the more unique things that you've learned while you've been here uh, that you didn't really know before or didn't have before that you've been able to use to deliver world-class service to your clients? Right. So one of the biggest things that's that's an immediate difference as soon as I started here um, with the Tatra Money team is that I specialize on the side of buyers. The place I was prior, it was both. So I was grinding, I was prospecting, I was calling people, trying to get listings, trying to get buyers. And it was just, it was very overwhelming as somebody brand new into the market several years ago. Um, and, you know, I mean, that's typically how most people play or start the game. Um, start their careers, excuse me. Um, but it's it was very overwhelming for me. One, I was pretty much just a number. Um, there was hundreds and hundreds of agents at this brokerage, and as much help as they presented to me at first, it just it dwindled off just because they're bringing new agents on, you know. And then once you get past a certain point, you're on your own. Here, it's different. I work specifically with buyers. Um, I can give my full time full presence in a situation to give that world-class value that I just don't think is that you can do um, as well as you would want to working with both sides. Yeah, we think it's really important that Absolutely. you do specialize. That's why we, Davis is a home buyer specialist. David is a home buyer specialist. John and Jeremy are marketing specialists or what most people would call a listing agent. Right. But we they're, they're far more than that. They, they specialize. This is what they're, they're reading about, training about, talking about every single day so they be, can become better and better. Dave's doing the same thing with buyers. Like, hey, I want to fully dig and dig deep into like, how do I do this at the highest level possible? Because not everybody's doing that out there. Most people, I would hazard to say, are not doing that out there. Right. They're trying to find the next deal and they're trying to do the next thing. Like, we're making sure that we're providing opportunity here on the team for David, for Davis, for Ryan, for Andrew, for for Mari, for everybody that gets to be here and gets to work with with clients. Like we want them to be in such a position of authority that people are going to clamor to work with them. You know, that's why we've got over five, six hundred reviews online of people that are just like, I had this experience and it was great and this is what happened and this is the story and this is yeah. the way that, that I got helped and it wasn't like this the first time I bought a house. And it's really, really cool to get to be a part of that and to see the hard work that everybody's putting in, whether that's a staff person, whether that's an agent on a daily basis. Uh, and we also get to have some fun, right? That's right. So, you know, David, Davis, Brandon, talk a little bit because we were all on different teams here. We were. What was what did we get to do this past week for a little bit of fun that's also out there on social media? Right. So we split up our team into four teams and we had a gingerbread home building yeah, we did. competition. Throwdown. It was a throwdown. It was a throwdown. There was supposed to be one rule... That rule ended up being broken. Apparently, now it's prison rules. Mm-hmm. And what was the rule that was supposed the to be? The rule in all gingerbread making competitions that everything has to be 
edible. You cannot eat Legos. Yeah, I heard I heard that rule and I changed the rule. You cannot yeah. eat a Lego well, the, reindeer. The, the rule was changed to the house has to be edible. Yeah, and I then mean, you could have decorations in the yard. It, yeah. it changed a little bit. Yeah. Courtney, Courtney tried. This was a great idea from Courtney. Oh, fantastic. Uh, she tried to make the rule, and I just had I had, I had a, a vision in my mind of what this was going to be, and it contained a Santa Claus Lego yep. man and uh, some army man, and we had to we had to change the rule, right, Connie? You're the boss. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. uh, it's not true, um, but we did end up being able to use props, so yeah. it was a fun time. Very fun. We had a blast. We had a one hour time limit. And, uh, and we did some of that stuff. You know, we also all got together. A bunch of us got together the day after Thanksgiving. And uh, what did we do the day after Thanksgiving? Yeah, we did. USA versus England in a That's World right. Cup soccer match. We all got together at Jeremy's house. And uh, we watched a thrilling 0-0 tie. It, it was, was so great. Oh, I loved it. I'm Neil, a soccer Neil. guy. Neil, Neil. Neil, Neil. Neil I Neil. loved it. But, yeah, our team got together. Jeremy's wife whipped up some wonderful food and some cookies, and we cheered and had a great time the day after Thanksgiving together as a team. Just fun to like get to do this with friends, with what feels like family. Uh, it's not always easy, right? right. <laughs> there's, there's times that, that it's hard, but uh, it is fun to get to work with and be around people that we, we also want to do stuff outside. We all, you know, We went to a Dallas Stars game this week together. And it's fun to get to do some of that stuff. So, um, yeah, look, if, if you're thinking about uh, getting into real estate, if you're already in real estate and you're thinking about, hey, wait, I want to, that sounds good. Like, that sounds what I'm, what I'm looking for, what I'm after. Reach out to us. Give us a call. Jump online. Uh, just reach out in some way and we will have a conversation with you. Uh, in the same way that we're talking about strategy sessions for home buyers and home sellers, we can do something very similar for people that are in the industry. Um, we can sit down with you and we can talk about what it's gonna look like to be able to uh, to, to to join the team if it's the right fit, uh, what are some of the ways that we can help you in your career, and uh, and then we can we can go from there. So go to todtramoneyteam.com, todtramoneyteam.com, and you can reach out to us uh, from right there. You know, we've been talking a lot about costs uh, and having a home, and one of those is your yard. And you may be thinking, I don't need yard work right now, but I bet your trees need work, and I bet you could use some planning for the spring. Any kind of construction, maintenance, irrigation, you want to call Keen Landscaping. They do it all. 972 424 Four eight five one. Call our friends at Keen Landscaping. They will get your yard done right. Most people wait until the springtime to actually reach out to the landscape professional to be able to get a plan in place. Well, guess what? They're already busy by then. They're already out at everybody's homes. They're already doing the work. Reach out to them beforehand. Give them a call now and say, hey, I want to get a plan in place for the springtime, right? They're going to be able to have some opportunities, some availability right now for you. So go reach out to Keen Landscaping and they will uh, they will help you with all of that stuff. Last few minutes of the show here, Brandon. What um, you, you said you've transitioned a little bit over the years, which you have. You've gone from a buyer specialist to what you're doing right now. Um, that's kind of a unique thing. When we say we are putting people in a position to use their God-given gifts and abilities, that's that changes from time to time, right? That can change for a number of different reasons. And that's one of the things that I've really enjoyed is my role has changed a ton over the you know seven years that I've been here. And your role has changed uh, several, several times too. So w what are some of the things that have kind of jumped out to you? What do you love about what it is that you get to do right now in your role, helping team, helping clients? What's the thing that really jumps out and gets you excited? Yeah, so... One of the things is I'm, I'm really excited about that I get to work on a team where we do seek out where where your God-given gifts are and your abilities. Um, I was a great buyer specialist, but a, an opportunity one of the best an opportunity arose for a uh, for this client care coordinator position, and Todd could have gone outside and he could have gone 
to anybody, uh, probably somebody a little better looking than me could have been uh, at the front door. But he said, it's you true. know, I think I think Brandon would be a great fit. This is what uh, he's really personable. He likes to talk to people. And Todd called me and, and wanted to plug me into into this position, which is great because a lot of uh, jobs, I talk to my friends all the time and they're like, you know, I feel like I'm stuck in my job. My job is almost ever changing. It seems day to day, uh, there's new tasks, new opportunities, new uh, new things to learn, um, even some old things to learn, like spelling. Um, <laughs> uh, there are some things like that that I that I get to uh, get to incorporate into my job. Every day is different. I like to be a little bit spontaneous, but being able to pick up the phone, call um, call clients, talk to clients. I don't know what's coming on the other end of that line. It could be we're in the middle of dinner, we're in the, uh, we're driving. I have all the kids in the car. I'm in the pickup lane. You know, whatever it is, I get to talk to them. I get to pour into their lives and invest in them. That's something I really enjoy right now. Yeah, it's fun to get to do that. That's small business, right? You're gonna wear a ton of a ton of different hats. You're gonna be the copier guy, the maintenance guy. They're gonna be, you know, the lunch guy. I mean, we all yeah. we all do. We all wear a ton of different hats. Uh, and it's fun to get to do that on a daily basis. So look, I told you, if we can help you with buying, selling, if you're thinking about buying, selling, reach out to us. Go to toddtremonteam.com. If you don't know what your home is worth, go to valuethishouse.com. Fill in the information right there in less than 60 seconds. I promise you, less than 60 sec seconds. You will tell you what your home is worth, what it will sell for, what it would rent for if you're thinking about renting it out. Um, and if you want a more customized valuation, just reach out, we reply to the email, just say customized valuation, and we will contact you and we will help you get that taken care of. If you haven't had your roof checked out recently, you should do that. We've gone through a scorching summer. We're heading into the winter. What? Snow normally comes in North Texas, maybe once a year, maybe February-ish yeah. time, genuinely, generally. Make sure that you've got everything taken care of on your roof. Uh, go to pmrroofing.com, reach out to Jordan, Quentin, the whole team over there. They'll come out, they'll check out your home, they'll check out the roof, they'll tell you if you need any work doing. More importantly, they'll tell you if you don't need any work doing. They're not just going to try and take the money from you. They're going to be uh, be honest, they're going to be ethical, they're going to make sure that you get whatever it is you need, uh, and then they're going to do uh, an incredible job for you uh, if you do need something doing. pmrroofing.com. For all of your home selling, home buying needs, go to toddtremonteam.com. Reach out to us. We can have a strategy session if you're thinking about doing something in 2023. If you're thinking about doing anything in real estate, reach out to us. We will have a conversation with you. We'll buy you a coffee. We'll buy you a drink. We'll sit down. We'll talk about all of the options that are available to you uh, over the course of the next year. Team. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP.